Now that the year 2000 is finally here, we're taking a look back at events that shaped our lives. In the 1940s, that was a decade that changed America. There was World War II, then a huge economic boom, especially in places like Arizona. And one night a year, that era comes alive at the Confederate Air Force Museum in Mesa. People of all ages go there to enjoy the great music of the 1940s and to honor a great generation of Americans. It was definitely a major turning point in American history. <laughs> kind of a uh, age of innocence lost for America. You know, we collect and restore you know, World War II vehicles, the uh, uniforms, the equipment, uh, the weapons even. It's a good way for me to respect uh, my grandfather's generation for what they did for us. I'm wearing this uniform tonight primarily to honor my father for what he stood for, what he fought for in World War II. He wore it. He wore it with honor. So I come to the dance every year, it's like taking a step back in time. Life was a little bit more simpler, easier. Yes, I do think that there's uh, something going on today that, that makes people yearn for what there was back in the 40s. We do know a lot about the war, World War II. We were all together, we were fighting for one thing and that brought the country together. It was a decade of just a lot of things are going on. There was a war, there was happiness, they had the music, it had a good beat. That era was part of a a lot of things, a lot of wonderful things, and a lot of tough, tough things that happened, like World War II. Gonna watch me on the intro. I heard that the Glenn Miller Band was forming and playing for the GIs. I just joined the orchestra when I was 18 years old. And this this affair tonight is is just absolutely wonderful. Depicting those those days. Uh, everybody here is dressed in World War II outfits and World War II clothes. Some of our best fans are the young, young, younger group. Uh, of course, the older group loved this and remembered. It's nostalgia for them. Surprised me how many uniforms and World War II clothes and stuff that people still have. It was an entire generation, all right, and they all went. I don't know if it was the greatest generation or not, but I don't think there'll be another one like it. To them, it's a memory in past, but the young, young people love this music, and they're playing it, and playing it really well. I love it. I hope it continues on forever. Well, like most of the people at that dance, 12 News producer Bert Sass and photojournalist Robert Nino are too young to remember the 1940s, but they say they still had a good time doing that story.